I'll warmly welcome on SRA TV Lab. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome on SRA TV Lab. Today we are going to see part of the femur. Femur is a long bone within the human body. It is found in upper part of the lower limb and it is between the knee joint and the hip joint. So this is the bone. We are going to see all the different parts of this bone. Please support this channel by pressing like, subscribe and the bell. This is a huge support for this channel. May God bless you. Good. This is the anterior view of the femur. And this bone has three main parts. There is proximal end, there is the shaft, and the distal end. The distal end is where we find the joint between the femur and the tibia and the joint between the knee and this knee cup. Good. Let's start with the proximal end. This is the head of femur and this is the neck of femur. And here we have what we call greater trochanter and here we have what we call lesser trochanter in the anterior between these two trochanters we find what we call intertrochanteric line intertrochanteric line and on top of the head of femur there is a groove-like part, we call it fovea capitis. Fovea capitis. This is an attachment of a ligament that fixes this head of femur into the hip joint. This is called fovea capitis. Good. We continue on the anterior part of our, our femur. We have seen the greater trochanter, the lesser trochanter, and the intertrochanteric right. Then here it is the shaft. So let's see this distal end. You see this is the bone called patera. This, the part of the femur where patella lies, it is called patera surface. It is called patera surface. The surface, this surface where rise, this surface where rise, the patella is called patera surface. Then when you go to the side of the patera surface, we are going to find what we call Condyles. These condyles are here is medial condyle and there is lateral condyle. Medial condyle, lateral condyle. Then at the side we find what we call epicondyle. This is the medial epicondyle and this is the lateral epicondyle. Medial epicondyle lateral epicondyle good and then when you move upward this line above the lateral epicondyle this is called lateral supracondylar line and here is medial supracondylar line you get me. these are two i mean these are the main parts of the this tall end of the femur when you view it anterior. So let's see the posterior view of the femur. Before we go to the posterior view, let's see mediary again to see another very important part. This part 
It is called adjunct tubercle. This is where is attached the adductor muscles, the hip adductor. It's called adductor tubercle. Adductor tubercle is found just above the medial epicondyle. Oh, this is the prominence above medial epicondyle, and it is called adductor tubercle. Good. Now let's go to the posterior view of the femur. This is the posterior view of the femur. Again, we see the head, the neck of femur, and fovea captis. And here again is the greater trochanter. Here is the lesser trochanter. And in between, it's called intertrochanteric crests. Remember, anteriorly, between two trochanters, it is intertrochanteric line. But posterior here, it is intertrochanteric crest. And here we have what we call trochanteric glue, our trochanteric fossa or glue. This is the fossa just between the neck of femur and the greater trochanter. It's called the trochanteric fossa. We move down. Medial. Here we found what we call pectineal rind. Pectineal rind, it is this rind just inferior to the lesser trochanter. It is called pectineal rind. So when you go laterally, posterolateral, this is called gritual tuberosity. You know what is grit? Gritual comes from the gluteus muscles. Gritual tuberosity. This is provide the attachment to the gluteus muscles or gluteus. Then we go down here, it's called rinea asper. It has two ribs. Rinia aspera. There is a lateral and medial lips. This is called Rinia aspera. Gritio tuberosity, pectineal line, Rinia aspera. These are the big parts of the posterior view of the femur, just below the proximal end of the femur. Then down here is the shaft. You get me? Down here is the shaft. But just here, when you move down above the epicondyle, the, this surface is called popliteal surface. Do you get me? It is called Proprietal surface, this surface above this condyle, just on the shaft of the femur, it is called proprietal surface. Good. And then when you see just between these two condyles, this part is called intercondylar fossa. Do you get me? It is called interchondrial fossa or the fossa between condyles, between lateral and medial condyle. Interchondrial fossa, popliteal fossa. You get me? These are the main parts of the femur when you view it posteriorly. Good. So, guys, Thank you for watching the video. I hope it is very helpful. So please don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues. And see you in another video next time. May God bless you about that way. Please support this channel by pressing like, subscribe and the bell. This is a huge support for this channel. May God bless you.